I think we deal with this on a daily basis. The number one issue causing um, inflammation is usually your GI tract. And that's why Trish and I wanted to do this healthy gut challenge because it's so important. I hear it every day, a complaint of nausea, constipation, huge constipation, loose stools, alternating constipation and diarrhea. It's a problem and it doesn't, I mean, it affected me and it affected Trish. So I'm gonna let Trish let you tell you what affected her. So I had just, I had just done a bodybuilding competition where it was a figure competition and I took my body fat down to 6%. So I had, I thought, I, I personally thought that I was in the best shape of my life because I looked like I was in the best shape of my life. Little did I know I had a blood test after that and it showed that I was pre-diabetic. And I was like, what? Like how? I always associated with diabetes with, you know, overweight and, you know, all kinds of other issues. So I read a book and it was called Wheat Belly and it, it, it educated me on really what, how our, our body process works and showed me in that book that a lot of my issues that I was having with about diabetes actually was re was related to my GI tract and then further investigating, further researching, further going down, like what's going on with me, I found leaky gut. And leaky gut is basically where your lining of your uh, intestinal tract, and Lori can tell you in a more, you know, doctor uh, terms, but basically to me, leaky gut, very elementary is where your lining gets kind of these little holes in it and food particles go outside of where they're supposed to be and they go into your bloodstream and they cause all kinds of bad issues. Um, and then I came to realize that, gosh, like nine out of 10 people have leaky gut and it's a really easy thing to fix once you realize that you have it but a lot of people go on over years and years and years and they just they don't fix it so what we wanted to do is get this healthy gut challenge because that's one area that we know that the majority of everybody needs help with but we figured out I fixed my leaky gut Lori you had IBS yep and you fixed your IBS. Yep. What were some of the symptoms that you were having when you were? So, well, my whole life I had GI issues. I probably went to the bathroom once a week from a kid and I thought that was normal. And then I would. And as a kid, I was, I was constipated all the time. Oh yeah. Well. I was constipated. I probably went to the bathroom, like I said, once a week and it was awful. It was very painful. Um, I remember all through high school and college having to depend on laxatives just to go to the bathroom. And um, then I would have diarrhea. So we would alternate constipation, diarrhea. And um, as I got older and got into the medical field, I went and had, you know, all these tests done to find out what's going on because everybody in my family had it. And so this was kind of normal. It was a joke in our house. So um yeah, so I had a colonoscopy and they they didn't find anything wrong. They said, oh, you have irritable bowel syndrome. I'm like, okay, well, how do we fix this? And they're like, oh, well, you'll have it the rest of your life. And, you know, you'll get used to it. And you can take medicines for your symptoms. Well, I didn't want to take medicines for my symptoms. I didn't want to have this the rest of my life. So it was... Um, it was awful, but I adjusted my diet and um, found out what was wrong, what I avoided foods for uh, um, certain foods that contributed to it. Um, now I can pretty much eat anything that I want because my gut is not inflamed anymore. It was basically just inflammation. And as I got involved with um, Lifestyle Wellness Group and um, another company with some products and, you know, I realized I was just toxic and, you know, the toxics that were being held in my gut is um was contributing to other pains that i had um all throughout my body besides just my stomach so um i know tons of people have issues and i hear every day complaints of nausea constipation 
um, heartburn and stomach ulcers, bloating. Like when you go bloating, to the restaurant, like when gas, you go out to when you go out to a restaurant drinks. and you eat something and you immediately feel that pressure in your gut that you have eaten, like you haven't overeaten, but all of a sudden you just bloat. Like cramps. There's like cramps. Cramp. Right. So it's it's a common thing for everybody. And it we're here to tell you that's not normal. <laughs> you should poop every day. I we're gonna talk about poop and bowel movements. So I mean it is what it is, but you know, people suffer and if you can get it under control and function, because it causes you know, people get anxious about it. Like, oh, I got to, I can't go to that restaurant. And, you know, it was affecting me. I, there were places I never ate because I, I, as soon as I got home, I was in the bathroom and then, you know, I have stomach cramps. And so, yeah, we avoided that restaurant or, you know, you know, it's just not fun to have that. And everybody I know, you know, there's everyone in my family has it, but we've all adjusted our diets and are just very happy now. And, you know, you can be normal. Right. So let's, let's quickly go over a little checklist of, um, uh, if you have, if you answer yes to any of these symptoms, then yes, I'm sorry to say to you that you have some GI issues. And if you, GI issues are, kind of, they, they, they're really naggy. They kind of nag, 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 nag into the point <laughs> where now we're in pain and now we got to go to the doctor. Like if you can catch them where they're naggy, naggy, naggy and make the adjustment. So you're not having to go and get some severe intervention. That's actually the best route. And so many times people just will start, you know, living off of Tums or Pepsid or whatever the case may be. Laxatives. That doesn't solve the problem. Laxatives. It doesn't solve the problem. So let's go over a quick checklist. If you have food sensitivities, you have GI issues. If you have constipation, bloating, gas, heartburn, trouble sleeping through the night, how many is that? I mean, that's probably eight out of 10 people have trouble sleeping through the night, diarrhea, nausea or vomiting, that's a huge indicator, um, pain or discomfort in your abdomen is not normal, guys. Even if you think it's gas, it's not normal. You should not live in chronic pain. Weight gain or weight loss or the inability to lose weight, major GI issue, bleeding, or even anxiety or depression. That can all mean that you have a GI issue. You know, when you eat, you should be able to feel fine. If when you eat, you feel bad, then that's that's a problem, right? So we have creatively come up with an ongoing healthy gut challenge which will we, we will be describing in the third video. So click the third video to find out how you enroll in the, and you can enroll at any time it's rolling, it's ongoing. So click the third video and we will tell you how to enroll and how to win the prizes. See you soon.